What are your thoughts on Trump, Trump, re, Trumplicans? Yeah. I think <laughs> that's a hard word. Trump Republicans, yeah. but that's Trump, tough. Trump Republicans. Okay, that's an actually cool, like Trump Republicans, Trumplicans. Okay, <laughs> Trumplicans holding the speakership uh, out of Kevin McCarthy's hand until they get their committee and subcommittee assignments. Um, do you can you give us like a short? Mm -hmm. 101 of what's happening so i know like there was a three votes and stuff but yeah go on basically every early january the united states congress brings all the new people that are elected in the last session um the majority party gets to pick their person that basically runs the house of congress that, that runs the house of representatives for this term so for this term this year Whoever the Republicans end up voting for, most likely, will be the person that gets to say, like, this is what we talk about next, or this is what we, like, we won't talk about that, or let's hold a vote. Um, so, yeah, that's what they're voting for. The Speaker of the House is the person who basically is in control of the House of Representatives for this term. Was that what you want, or did you want me to explain yes, the yes. vote? So, no, no, you know, no, that's great. That's fantastic. And um, my understanding is that there seems to be a major infighting Huge. between between Republicans yeah. and they look ridiculous right now. Yeah. Uh, you, need, they can't... you need 218 votes because that is the majority for that particular uh, body. Um, yeah. In the second round, the Democratic nominee for the House, because even though the Democrats are not in majority, they can still nominate somebody because you don't technically get it just because you're in the majority it's just that you have more votes so you're more likely to get it right um but the democratic nominee actually got like three more votes than the than uh, mccarthy um but so but that's too much too much data for yeah. our non-american ideas but the main thing to understand is that republicans are destroying each other which is great with they're fighting with each other right they look ridiculous and if this what it, the specific thing that is being um, referred to here it hasn't happened for the past hundred years apparently like that's how insane yeah. this is that uh, you have like a, um, a one party who is like has the majority in the house and not be able to uh, vote um, on it, the speakership right it could like really to, things up because the speaker of the house is required to swear in the next congress wow okay so this is good because we're showing to republicans look what you have elected they can't even do something that was so easy to do for the past hundred years like you guys cannot even have a speaker like you guys like you guys are supposed to run a country but you can't even get together and pick a speaker like that's yep. how how you know this is good. This is good. I keep, keep, keep this. And I heard like it's so like even pro Trump people are now turning on Trump. Yes. You know, like I don't know. There's this is great. Like keep, keep, keep going, Republicans. Keep eating yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm I happy only about it personally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought only leftists are capable of eating their own, but apparently, like the right people, right leaning people used to be like better at like okay, we're like we're together, like put our differences aside. Let's you know be united. Like, well, in, but in now fairness, Armin. You know, in fairness, we've been telling the people on the right to listen to us for years. I didn't think that they would pick up that, but I mean, hey, glad glad they picked up the infighting and the eating your own. And I mean, I would have appreciated yeah. the picking up the human rights part, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, D is actually pointing out that this is not good. Uh, D is saying this brings everything to a halt. Nothing happens now. Not good. Yeah. I mean, not good. Short term, but long. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Short term, this is bad. But long term, it, if this could rid us from more Republican influence, I think short long term, this might be a good thing. And it is yeah. it is it is possible that in the next handful of days, six Republican members of the House of Representatives just switch sides to the Dems because that says they are only the Democratic nominee is only five or six votes away from getting the majority. And and they could just do that just to screw with the, the rest of the GOP, you know, um, but. If it does back everything up and shut everything down, that could also possibly just raise the ire of right wing voters in the country and so cause more infighting. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm eating popcorn while watching it. That's for sure. <laughs>
<laughs> Usually that's not a good sign. Yeah. You, know, you're, you, you, know, you know your country's politics are good when you're not interested in it. <laughs> I've told you, I've told you this, that it's like we're in this boat where it just feels like we're on this like, you know, right. nice little tight tight rope walk thing and it's like at any point in time the entire country could just completely right. explode but i'm trying to have a positive outcome you know i'm trying to have right, a positive right. view of it but. if it's if it's interesting that means something has gone terribly wrong okay in your politics yes yes, <laughs> yes. that is true you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.